So if you were to run for Prime Minister of Malaysia, what would you promise the Malaysians? Uh, open clubs, like open? Uh, strip clubs. Oh hi there! I didn't see you guys there behind my really nice motorbike that's not actually mine. Now welcome back to another episode of What The Heck Are We Doing Here? Actually, I know what we're doing here. My name is Renu and we are here to find out how much Gen Z's know about the general elections and about voting. Let's go! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Are you guys free? Ooh. Would you like to be in a street interview? Ooh. Are you free for like a really quick street interview? Yeah, sure. Yay! <laughs> How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, 18. I'm 18 this year. 22? 22. 22. Okay, so you are, you can vote, right? Yeah, yeah, of course I can, I can. So we have a bunch of questions here about general elections. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? So first question would be, how many seats are in the parliament? Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> Don't record that. C52? No, more than that. It's a lot more than that. Six. <laughs> 300. 222? Two, two, two. Yeah. There you go, correct! So what do you think these 222 people are doing in parliament? Nothing much. Sure. Okay, so do you know what a manifesto is? No. I'll give you a hint, lah, okay? Every political candidate that's running for a seat has to have a manifesto. Okay. Okay. It's like a bunch of so-called promises that they, you know... Alright. All right. Off camera, off camera. <laughs> uh, the promise that the political parties want, like, want to offer to the rakyat if they win the election. So, do you know who the candidates for prime minister are? There are four very specific ones right now, and these four have been around for a while. So, you will know them one. Shit, Sadiq. I don't think so. I don't think. So. <laughs> It's my story, yeah. Yes, okay, that's one. We didn't. Oldest Prime Minister of Malaysia. Oh, that's uh, Dr. Mahathir moment. One person has always wanted to be Prime Minister, but never got the chance. Uh, no? Yes. That's all four, right? We got all four. Not bad, guys. So I have these political party flags right here, right? Can you name them from the top? Is it break at the end? Or oh, Amno? Amno. Um, Alright, second one. Pass. Okay. Oh, MIC. MCA. MCA. What about this one? Bunga Raya Club. Five flowers. I know this. Pakatan uh, Harapan. This one is Bersatu. Yes. yes. What about the second one? MIC, DAP, and DKR. Yeah. Nice. Obviously, like we all know what, what you should do when you go vote, right? But do you know what you cannot do when you go and vote? You cannot wear any any shirts that have political logo because it's like probo provocacy, right? The vote for all the candidates at one time. Inappropriate clothing. Correct. Do you know what to mark on the ballot box? It's uh cross. Yeah, an X. X. It's, it's an X, yeah. So if I see if I mark it with a star? No, it, it won't be like, it's not valid. Okay, do you know when is the general elections, the exact date? 19 November. 19. 19? November. Yes. And voting time, East and West Malaysia, do you know what the voting times are? 2 to 8, 8 to 6 lah. 2 to 4. 4. 8 to 6. I saw, my email say 2 to 4. Masa digalakkan lah, dude. Oh. Masa digalakkan lah. 2 to 8 until 6. Yeah. 8 to 6, is it? Yeah. So, do you know where you're voting? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yep. If let's say you don't know, right, where do you check? My SPR. <laughs> if let's say you are running for Prime Minister of Malaysia, right, what would you promise Malaysians? Probably two days of working days and five days of holidays. Hey! What's your name? I want to vote for you. Lower down the legal age for alcohol. Get free water. Get free food every day. Free food for students? If you are a rich student, I cannot. Uh, cheaper petrol. Free uh, nipple piercing for everyone. What? What the f? Uh, open clubs. Like open. Uh, strip clubs. Nice! There you have it, guys. Strip clubs. No corruption. What's your name, sir? Arnish. Arnish for Prime Minister of Malaysia! Just stay peace and happy. Higher price value for our money. Hello, now tax. Uh, probably e equality. Equality for all of the Malaysians. And lastly, I would say. Uh, Better education. And there you have it guys. It generally looks like a lot of Gen Z's actually know their stuff about general elections and voting. Now don't forget to perform your civil duty by going and voting on the 19th. 
of November because you know what? As much as you think your vote doesn't matter, it does. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to all of us. Bye-bye!